Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here, and we're looking at a great way, let me take my glasses off, a great way to inspire uh, mobility of the thoracic spine and the pelvis and to really create that um, proprioceptive awareness of those in yourself and in your clients. And uh, this exercise partly I learned from Tom McCook and partly from Madeline Black. Um, it's a really just wonderful way to use the foam roller, anchoring the lower leg and the ability to allow your pelvis to go into this transverse rotation very, very easily. Um, so from here, I'm going to bring my hand behind my head, and I'm going to press my head into my hand and really feel like I'm feeding the skin of the back of my scalp to the wall um, in front of me there. And then on the inhale, I'm going to keep my pelvis leg steady. And I'm also, what naturally is happening here is that I want to collapse into my bottom waist and I want to shrug my hip up to my shoulder. So I want to get rid of that. So I want to find a, a lightness on my bottom waist and I want to keep directing my top sitting bone towards my feet. And then from there, keeping my foam roller, leg, and pelvis steady, I'm going to rotate from my thoracic spine. So I can also move my bottom shoulder out a little bit. So I really want to feel my top rib cage rolling back and my front rib cage rolling forward. And I can kind of encourage the rolling forward um, of my bottom rib cage by getting some length through the pinky finger side of my hand to just kind of encourage that bottom rib cage to roll out and then slowly coming back to center. As I come back to center, I want to feel like I'm slurping my bottom arm just a little bit into the arm socket, encouraging that bottom rib cage to roll back as my top rib cage rolls forward. Let's do that again. So thinking of your rib cage as that rotisserie chicken. So my top rib cage is rolling back. I'm really trying to get that movement right from the center of my spine. Not moving from my shoulder girdle, not moving from my head, but really initiating it from deep in my spine. And then bottom rib cage goes back as my top rib cage goes forward. So as that happens, there should be a real awareness of taking the arm deeper and deeper into my arm socket to help to usher, to help support that back rib cage back. Now to add on to this, I can add um, the counter rotation of my pelvis. So as my rib cage rolls back, my top rib cage, my pelvis can roll slightly forward. So I have this opposition of my thoracic spine rotating back and a transverse rotation of my pelvis forward so that my left hip bone is going forward, right hip bone is going back, and then bringing all of that back into the beginning position. And this is also really informing that spinal engine motion of gait, right? So this is also gonna help um, your clients and yourself with better gait mechanics. Let's look at that again. So I really want to have a heavy purchase of my knee ankle on the foam roller and my rib cage from deep in my spine is going to start to rotate back and my pelvis as a whole is going to start to rotate forward. So I want to feel my top pelvic half rotating forward and my bottom pelvic half rotating back. And then I want to bring everything back to the center, de-rotating and coming back to that centered position. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.